What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Chris is with me today, as yes, he always sir. is, but what is today? A Sunday? Yes, yeah, Sunday. Sunday. So obviously you guys saw the last video. I was getting this thing all cleaned up, ready to go for tomorrow. Um, we're over here just bleeding brakes and adjusting the rear links on this thing right now. So that's what we're working on. Um, obviously when we put this all together, it was never really squared up to the body, but we're just adjusting all that in the wheel wells. Um, what else are we doing in this thing? So I'll let Chris take it underneath the car. All right, guys. So down here on these links, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark. Right in here, on some of them, like that one there, there's a little notch. That means it's reverse thread. Uh, so you have a standard thread and reverse thread on these. And then that way you can twist it to move it in or out. Currently, this tire is sucked further inside the body than the driver's side and further back. So what we're doing is we're adjusting each one of these links to move the axle over, square it to the body, and then we also have upper links. So with the upper links and the combination of the lower links, we can use that to tilt the axle forward and back. Um, the majority of the time that is only used to make sure that you get your proper driveline angle, uh, limit any binding or vibrations. The front's a little bit different here because there's only a heim on one end. So that means we actually have to unbolt it to do, which we're not doing today. Uh, these are perfectly fine because it's just a bushing, huge bushings on the axle side. This one right here is to, again, like the rear, be able to adjust the front forward and back. Uh, and then right there, that's just for your distance to push your front axle forward or back. So yeah, we're gonna be working on that. The other thing, if you haven't noticed, we have water bottles sitting around with hoses full of brake fluid. Uh, we're just letting gravity bleed the brakes. Um, once that's done, and we don't see any more air bubbles come out, we're gonna do it the old fashioned way, uh, just to make sure there's nothing else left in there. But it uh, actually we ran out of water bottles, so there's another bottle over there. <laughs> um, but yeah, anything else, Jared? Or oh, you explained it perfect. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I tried. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna get going on this, and then uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about for yeah. this. So we'll see you soon. So if you hold it while I twist this. I'm just taking the whole link with it when I'm trying to get the jam that loose. There it is. All right. So we're gonna suck this side in. Okay. That side needs to go forward? Mm -hmm. Or is that side good? Your side? Uh, no, it's good. I'm just making it so it can be in tighter for you. Oh, okay. It's too far back. So, just in case you guys haven't seen this before. He's sucking this entire axle forward right now. That's the beautiful part about these four links. Uh, we haven't gotten a lot of footage underneath this thing. <laughs> Almost none, we didn't have the YouTube when we built it. All right. That's all it is, guys. It's just super Let's flexible. See how that did to adjust it. So, just down there adjusting, you can see we're getting all this lined up. Oh, that's way better. Oh my God. <laughs> Want that creeper? And now he's messing with these uppers. See so it's on the other side. sucking in the one on the passenger side here. And what it'll do is it'll pull the whole axle this way. We don't need much real close. 
All right, you want to shake that chassis around? Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. It's good over there. That's good. Yeah, tar's about even. Yep. Yeah, when we first started this guy, I don't know we, you guys didn't get to see it on camera, but this side, it was shifted completely over here. Um, Just the upper leg was twisted out too far. Yep. And it was off like a lot. So obviously none of this stuff's been adjusted. The coilovers haven't been adjusted. We literally built the body, put it on the chassis, finished it for the wedding, and it's just been sitting ever since. But uh, we wanna make sure this thing's right before we sell this. So, but you can see now, this thing's, it is almost perfect. Perfect. So. We just gotta tighten the jam nuts. Yep. Call that a day. Yep, we're just gonna tighten these nuts right there. These nuts. <laughs> We'll call it good and get on these brakes real quick and get out of here. Stay tuned. Back underneath here. Get these nuts tightened up. Tell you what guys, this is uh this type of work is already tough enough as it is. It's even worse when you gotta have a camera the whole time. Underneath here. All right, guys. Got the links all finished up. Justin, get these uh, these brakes bled real quick. So we're just gonna tighten those, close them all up. I got the fronts tight. You just need to pop one of the, make one of the rears tight, and then work on the other side. All right. That's good. So you're gonna bleed this side here. Yeah. So you can see, guys. Go to traditional style for you. Old leave school. The on it, you tighten it, you pump it up, hold it tight, release it, tighten it again, pump it up, release it, over and over again. Already loose? Yep. Yeah, but you want to tighten it, pump it, and then release it. Oh, you guys just missed it. You can see some of it. There's too much air in there to pump. Me first. The beautiful part about having a complete new system. All right, want me to pump? Uh, ready. Okay. We're good? Good? Well, that one was easy. 
We're on to the next. All right, guys, we're all done. No, it wasn't that long of a video, but just asked Chris if we should put this thing up on the, or make a YouTube channel or a video off of this. So that's the reason why we did it. It wasn't too much information though, but we went over the links, saw how we did our ghetto brake bleed, but it's all good, ready to go. Tomorrow we'll come by and grab all the extra parts for it for the guy and meeting him at 10, so, but. This is it. Never thought I'd sell it, but like I said, it's, uh, it's a smart decision right now. And uh, the next one's going to be even better. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoy the content so far. And it looks like it is. Or it looks like you guys are. With all the positive comments and stuff. But anyways, we will see you guys probably tomorrow. But uh, have a good rest of your weekend. <laughs>